Hey guys, it's Crystal. So I wanted to do a pretty spring fling look. I had this idea when I was going for a walk today and spring has come to Seattle. All of the cherry blossoms have now bloomed and it's just such a beautiful sight. Blue skies, sunshine, endlessly. So I thought of this tutorial where it really focuses on pretty flirtatious and feminine looks. Flushed cheeks, pink lips, and bright open eyes. I used the Bare Minimum Powder Foundation, just a lip stain so you don't have to continuously put on lip products, flushed pink blush, and then really the eye products are going to be totally up to you. I chose to put two products on my eyes that were, you know, eyeshadow-esque. You don't have to. You could just go ahead and put on the Flirtatious Mascara. Here's a close-up of the look. Very flirtatious, very feminine, just a wonderful spring look. And I think that this will really go with anything that you choose to wear for springtime. This is really just a low-key look. So thank you guys so much for choosing this video to watch, and I hope that you enjoy it, and I'll check in with you later. So for this fresh and natural spring look, I decided to wash my face with Olay Definity, and it's a pore minimizing scrub. I chose this because it's a really light exfoliant, but I still wanted something to slough off all of those dead skin cells, because this look is really about being natural, being fresh, and just having a natural glow come from within. I wanted a light moisturizer, so I used the Clinique Dramatically Different, and this is the moisturizing gel because as you guys know, I have super oily skin, so I can't use lotions really on my face. I need to use gels. Then I primed my face with a water-based primer. I chose to do this because this look is all about being light, being fresh, being very natural, so I really like Laura Geller's Spackle. If you can see, there's a bit of iridescence in there and it's just really pretty. It helps aid in that really nice natural from within glow. And again, it's water-based, so it's going to be a very light primer. So to begin, I'm going to use a little bit of concealer and I'm going to use my Sheer Cover Duo Concealer. And my color is the medium tan. I like using a duo concealer or using two different concealers, especially in the springtime, because I have all different types of skin going on here. I have a little bit of a breakout going on and also I'm in between. I'm in that weird Weird, awkward phase where I'm not as light as I was in the winter but I'm certainly not summertime tan so this gives me an opportunity to go ahead and mix back and forth to blend my perfect concealer for this light natural look I just want to conceal the portions that need concealing so any type of redness as you can see my eyelids are pretty red I have a little bit of acne going on so I'll conceal that and then my cheeks and nose I'll conceal I'm just going to place it first before really blending. And I'm going to do a triangle right here, incorporating my cheeks, as you can see, because this is really going to help brighten up this whole area. So once I'm concealed, I'm going to go ahead and use a powder foundation. I don't want to use liquid because as we get into springtime and some warmer weather, I want it to look really, really natural, but I don't want it to look very heavy. I'm going to choose to use my MAC Studio Fix. Now this is not a complete full coverage, it's more medium coverage. That's what I really am looking for though, and my color is N5. You can put it on with a kabuki brush. This is going to give you a more condensed fuller coverage, or you can just go ahead and put it on with any type of a sponge. I'm going to go ahead and put it on with a sponge, and I'm really just patting it, especially where I've laid down any type of concealer, I'm going to pat it. So once you have your foundation on, you can go ahead and fix your eyebrows up if you need to. For my eyebrows, I went ahead and used my Smashbox, and this is just the Brow Tech and Cream Eyeliner Palette. I absolutely love this. I fill in the sparse areas with this portion over here. These four right here are for your eyebrows. Now I'm going to put on some blush, and I'm going to use a little bit of the Fuchsia Fusion, but very lightly, I believe. It's a real light application of the Fuchsia Fusion just to give me a really feminine flush. So I went ahead and I just used the Fuchsia Fusion by e.l.f. I like a lot of sparkle and I also like that pinkness. It's really feminine and it also looks like just some pretty blush going on. 
Now for eyes, I went ahead and I put an eye cream on while I was prepping before this, and I used the Lancome Bright Expert. I absolutely love this for a natural and bright look. It's really good to have the least amount of issues around your eyes. Puffiness should be gone, no discoloration should be gone, and that's not always easy. Sometimes we're genetically predisposed to bags, to discoloration, and we can't help that. I know that I am genetically predisposed to lots of discoloration underneath my eyes, but the way I can help it is by using Lancome bright expert. I really want my eyes to have just a natural look to them but I also want them to have just a tiny tiny little bit of sparkle to them so I'm going to be using a MAC paint pot in my favorite shade and this one is in Bare Study. It's one of the prettiest paint pots in my opinion. I love it. You can just put it on as thin or as thick as you'd like and it's just so pretty. So I'm just going to use a brush for this and this can also be used as a primer and it does not crease, which is really, really nice. I'm going to put it just right in my tear duct area. Just have a little bit of extra sparkle. Just under my eyes a tiny bit to make them look very awake and very open. Of course, on my lid and have it fade and blend up. So I'm going for my lash line. It's going to be heaviest on my lash line. And then I'm blending it up. Then I'm going to go ahead and just put it close to my brow and have it blend down. So it's going to be the thickest right underneath my brow and then it's going to blend down. This is also going to help make our brows appear very cleaned up. And then in the middle of that, I'm just going to take this Wet n Wild palette called Vanity. I actually really like this palette. On a Sigma E35, I'm just going to take this middle color right here. It's like a mid-tone brown, and it's a matte. And just really lightly put that in my crease. Really, really lightly. I don't want it to interfere with the paint pot that we've just done, but I do want it to give us a little bit of depth and dimension. Then I'm just taking a brown eyeliner, and this is by Lorac. It's a really nice creamy brown eyeliner. And just at the ends, just at the outer corner, I'm just putting it between my lashes, like directly on the lash line. And just kind of smudging that out with my finger. I'm going to add mascara and I'm going to use the Bad Gal Lash by Benefit. I just want them to look really innocent and long and separated, just really, really feminine and sweet. And I'm not going to do a waterline or tight line. We want our eyes to look really open. And this mascara helps do that a lot. Mascara in general really helps your eyes to look open and wide, and this one really does that. Last but not least, lips. For this, I want just a really sweet pink lip. I'm going to be using Tarte's Lip Surgeons, and this is in the color Amused. It is so cool. It's a lip stain, an all-natural lip stain. It's the best color ever, and it's very moisturizing. Sometimes when we think of lip stains, we think of those ones that dry our lips out and we have to keep covering them with lip balm. This is so moisturizing. And here's our super sweet and natural spring look. I thought that this would just be a really nice tutorial to do, just using really the bare minimum. You don't even have to use all of the products that I use. These are products that I have to use either based on my skin or based on certain skin issues that I'm having. And really, you can cut this down to a minimum, just some concealer, a little bit of mascara, and a pretty pink lip, and a little bit of a flushed cheeks. You can use all of the products I used. You can can do it however you want. I just wanted to do this generalized look and I just thought that this would be really pretty for spring. The real poignant pieces to this look are the flush cheeks, the flush lips, and the mascara. Those are really what's going to make this a clean and fresh look. Thank you guys so much for joining me for this pretty spring fling tutorial and if you choose to do this or if you have your own version of a clean, beautiful, flirtatious spring look, please let me know and leave it as a video response below and I I can't wait to put it up and have everybody else see it. Thanks guys!